All right, so we've bay mounted, we've set up everything. We're gonna get to the really exciting part and we're going to calibrate muzzle velocity. So get the kids, gather them around. This is the part everyone's been waiting for. This is really where all the fun actually starts <laughs> because this will help make our Kestrel really customize your gun bullet solution. Remember we talked about entering the muzzle velocity before and we get a pretty good estimate from the manufacturer or we get a pretty good estimate from the chronograph but we still highly, highly recommend running the Cal MV procedure on the Kestrel. Okay. Really, you're going to do this at the range. You're going to go out, you're going to take shots about as far as you can go. Um, you want to do this in the supersonic range, so not too far out. But when we get past supersonic, we have a different cal for that, the cal DSF. But this is going to be in the supersonic range. Typically, you're going to do as far out as you can go at your location. Further out the better, the closer in, it's not going to be as good. So if you get out to 500 yards, great. If you can only do 200 yards, it's good, but I would still recommend doing it. Um, so to, in order to calibrate your muzzle velocity, we're going to take a bunch of shots at the target based on what the Kestrel solution shows. As we mentioned before, the E is going to be your elevation. Um, it's going to be in your units of choice if you have MOAs, if you had it in mils, if you had it in SMOA. Um, you're going to take those shots. Now, you're going to cluster them and you're going to see how they did on the target. Well, you notice that they dropped a little more or not as much as the Kestrel set. Now we're going to go into Gun, go to MV, hit the center button, and go to Cal MV. What you'll notice is there's a Cal MV suggested range to calibrate this at. Again, if you can't get out that far, bring it in as far as you can go at your location. And you'll see that there's a predicted drop. So how much the Kestrel thought it should drop. But you saw it drop a little less or a little more. You're going to adjust that number to what actually happened in the field. Once you adjust that number, you're going to hit the exit button, which is the gear button, and it'll say accept MV Cal. It'll have a new number, which is what it backwards calculated based on your results that you saw. We're going to hit the uh, select button to say yes. And you'll notice that the MV has now changed on your, on your solution. Now if we hit the exit button the back out, we're going to have a really, really customized solution, especially in the supersonic range. So now as we adjust our target range, all the numbers are going to be pretty much dead on. And the next thing we want to do is calibrate this a little further out if we can. So we're taking shots, we've calibrated our muzzle velocity, basically any shots we're taking, as long as we have the right windage entered, we're pretty much dead on. But now we want to shoot longer out, and now we're getting into the transonic and subsonic ranges. Now, the problem when you get into those ranges, so basically the bullet's traveling at faster than the speed of sound. Okay. At some point it's going to slow down until it's not faster than the speed of sound, it creates a small sonic boom. Okay. That creates some sort of effect on the bullet that isn't necessarily as predictable as it was in the supersonic range. So okay. that's why we're, we want to you know, calibrate it even further out. Typically this will occur past a thousand yards. It depends really on the bullet and the gun you're using. If you're shooting it a lot faster, it's going to take a lot longer to reach that speed or slow down to that speed. Okay. So what we do in these instances is we have a Cal DSF option. Now Cal DSF is drop scale factor. What we're gonna do is we're gonna true our bullet and gun in the transonic and supersonic ranges so that it changes our ballistic coefficient to match what is actually being seen in the field. Okay. This is actually the, what's behind Brian Litz's custom dry curves. He's done this for a ton of bullets, a ton of different guns, so he's done the um, math already for us, so you can always preload those, but if you don't have that, and we still suggest doing this because everyone's a little bit different, we're going to go into gun again and scroll all the way down to the bottom where you can see Cal DSF, and we're going to hit the center button. Now again, there's going to be a suggested range of where your bullet's going to start going Basically, it's Mach 1.2 is the first instance we want to, so it's just above the speed of sound. Okay. And we're going to take shots at that range, if we can get it 
uh, shoot that far. Again, there's going to be a predicted drop shown. You're going to take a bunch of shots, you're going to say, eh, it's about a mil lower than I thought it should be at that distance. We're going to, again, change our drop to match what the actual drop is, and then hit the exit button. You'll get a prompt to see, say, do you want to accept this new value? We hit yes, and now we've taken, we've added one drop scale factor to our solution. So now we're even getting more and more customized at that long range. The next thing we could do is go a little bit further out. Really, it would be good to get it at 0.8 mach, so it's actually slowed down and had that sonic boom effect. Okay. Take a bunch more shots, you know, a good group of shots, get the average drop that you see, enter that in, and we could do this up to six times. Now, you want to start at the shorter range and move out because if you take a real long shot and then you put a DSM value that's shorter, it's going to invalidate that longer one. So always go from shorter to longer. Okay. And once we have that, this thing is going to be accurate no matter where you go with that gun kind of profile. You don't have to change anything, and you'll be hitting the target dead on, first time, all the time. Perfect. All right, thanks for watching. My name is Langdon. This is Joe. We're from Nielsen Kellerman. To find out more, visit our website where you can see uh, different accessories that we have, download the manuals, anything else that you need with your Kestrel. It's all on there. Thanks for watching.